Neutron. No, not a Yorkshireman excited about seeing his favourite 80s sci-fi movie, but the first all-new, all-electric premium SUV from Audi. In case you've not been paying attention, electric vehicles are becoming quite the thing, and the e-tron represents a new rival for the likes of the Jaguar I-Pace and the Tesla Model X. It's not to be confused with any other hybrid versions of Audi models that also have the label e-tron on them, such as the A3 e-tron. This is just e-tron. Well, e-tron 55 Quattro, where 55 signifies how much power it has. No, not 55 horsepower, it's 408 horsepower, or sometimes 360 horsepower. Confused? Yes, me too. So, ridiculous naming conventions aside, what does the Audi e-tron bring to the all-electric party? Well, I'll tell you one thing it doesn't bring, and that's side mirrors. The e-tron is one of the first cars available to use cameras in place of side mirrors. Not only are they super cool, but they're also more aerodynamically efficient, which helps you save fuel. Well, I say fuel, I mean electricity, because diesel and petrol will do you absolutely no good with the e-tron whatsoever, unless you want to set fire to it, which I wouldn't recommend, because it costs more than 70 grand. We'll get to all the electrical gubbins shortly, but let's have a look at the e-tron first. Take away some of the glitzy bits, and it's actually a fairly conventional family SUV to look at, with 20-inch wheels as standard and LED headlights, as well as a charging point on either side. Useful. Inside, you're immediately welcomed by the usual quality that we've come to expect from Audi. Interior build quality is as good as it gets, and much better than that of Jaguar or Tesla, although these steering wheel buttons aren't up to the usual high standards. It's got just enough tech in it to remind you that you're in a cutting-edge vehicle, such as this 10.1-inch touchscreen in the middle, which gives you feedback when you press it, and there's another 8.6-inch screen below it. As usual with Audi, there are loads of other features that you can add on to your e-tron, although, as usual with Audi, you'll have to pay for quite a lot of them. Even adaptive cruise control, which comes included on cars that are much cheaper than this, is a cost option. Also, you know those cool side mirror cameras? Yeah, they cost extra as well. Boo! Still, there's plenty of space for five passengers with good headroom in the back. In the boot, with the seats up, you've got more room than the Tesla, but less than the Jag. Put the seats down, and you've got more space than the Jag, but less than the Tesla. There's also a space under the bonnet, as all the motors and batteries are low down under the car. That space is bigger than the Jag, smaller than the Tesla. Clear? So, no engines or gearboxes to worry about here. Instead, you've got a 95 kilowatt hour lithium-ion battery that powers two electric motors, and therefore all four wheels, one at the front, one at the back. So that'll deliver 300 kilowatts, which in old money is 408 horsepower, which is quite a lot. However, most of the time it only delivers 360 horsepower to save on electricity. When the car is in S for sport mode, 0 to 62 takes 5.7 seconds, which isn't too bad when you consider that the car weighs two and a half tons. In D for drive mode, it's 6.6 .6 seconds, which still isn't too shabby. Because it's so heavy, it doesn't feel savagely fast, but it's still quite sprightly. Adaptive air suspension is standard, and the ride is... okay. It's not maybe magic carpet-like, as you might expect, but it's perfectly comfortable. There is a caveat, though. We are driving the e-tron at the launch event in the UAE, where the roads are very smooth. How well the car will do on British B roads? We'll have to wait and see. Handling-wise, there's no disguising the fact that this is a very heavy car, and while the suspension does a decent job of keeping things flat and the steering is nicely weighted, the front tyres will soon start to protest if you try and push on a bit. It's much better to keep to a cruise. One thing I've noticed about these side cameras is that the screens are not particularly easy to see in bright sunlight, and they're quite reflective. For much of the journey, I could see more of the passenger's arm reflected in the screen than I could of the cars beside me. Sure, it's clever, but was there really much wrong with mirrors? If you've driven any other Audi SUV in recent years, then getting behind the wheel of the e-tron won't come as any big shock to the system. That is generally a very good thing. It's beautifully put together inside, stylish to look at, and while it won't exactly light a fire in your soul, it's perfectly adept at wafting around. If you're looking for electric excitement, then we'd probably veer more towards the Tesla or the Jaguar i -Pace. But for our money, the e-tron is the most premium feeling all-electric SUV you can buy at the moment. 
Now, for even more information on the Audi e-tron, check out our full in-depth written review at autotrader.co.uk. If you've enjoyed this video, then give us a thumbs up, comment below, let us know what you think of the car, and while you're here, why not subscribe to the Auto Trader YouTube channel if you haven't already? It's absolutely free, and we've got loads of stuff to help you find your next car. Thank you.